Hello, my name is Adam Bean and today I would like to show you how to use Java EE8 CDI dependency injection in plain Java SE. And for this purpose I would like to create a Java SE Maven project and call it CDI SE, stands for Standard Edition. And then add a single dependency here, so I need the dependencies tag, but this dependency to the reference implementation which is weld. So weld SE, and this is the dependency and scope is test because I plan to write a unit test. So JUnit test, com airhex CDI SE, injection in plain Java test. So we have that. And then of course, we need a method inject to test that. Probably injection would be a better name. Injection, test injection. So now we need some classes to inject. So the most important class is of course coffee. So coffee and then drink and the result is great. So we have that and we need developer and we would like to inject the coffee to the developer. So we have the developer and the developer of course, has to be application scoped. This is what developer would like to be. Singletons, add, inject, coffee, coffee, and then string develop. And what the developer would like to do is first, first to drink some coffee and then to do some work. Development almost a DSL, so we have this. So now we need a bins.xml, which is deployment descriptor. So it was created, but it was created in resources main and it has to be in test resources because we are running in test mode. We are in test mode right now. So this is good. I only would like to increase it to one one. So done. So we have coffee and developer and now Let's boot the container. So se container initializer initializes the so it creates itself. So initializer and then with the initializer we can create a container. And the nice story is it is auto closable, so we can use try with resources. So let's do this. So we have the initialize method and then this initialize comes with select and what I can select is the developer.class and what I get back is a lazy developer. Why lazy? Lazy developer because it's an instance. So and now the uh, lazy developer get and now I get the developer. So, and the developer should not be null. This is also important in practice. So we have that. And develop and we get a message back and just print it out. And of course, at least assert Huh, assert uh, that, oh, assert that message contains string and it should be great. So this is what comes from coffee, coffee. So we have that and now see whether it works. So launch that. So, and we have great development and everything is green and we even uh, performed this crisscross screencast in test driven development mode so um thank you for watching and see you on upcoming conferences workshops projects or even airhex at munich, at munich airport so thank you and bye